Verse 28, and it came to be about eight days after these words, taking him, taking with him Kepha and Yohanan and, and Yaakov, he went up to the mountain to pray. And so after he had finished ministering to them about uh, what is going to cost them to follow him, eight days later, he took Kepha, who we call Peter, Yohanan, who we call John, and Yaakov, who we call James, he went up to the mountain to pray. He took them with him, those three. And it came to be, as he prayed, the appearance of his face changed and his garment dazzling white. And so, on this mountain, something happened. <laughs> and I'm telling you, that the ruling class people of the earth, of the world, they know about this scripture. And they know what what's happening in the earth. And they lied to you over and over and over and over again. They're telling you that the earth is a spinning ball, a spinning globe. That's a lie. It's not spinning. It's not a globe. <laughs> They're telling you that the, the sun is the center of the universe. That's a lie. They're telling you that there's a galaxy of infinite stuff. They're lying to you. The earth is... Fixed. There's a dome above the earth, which is the firmament. And what's happening now is the only way anyone gets into this atmosphere is through the kingdom of heaven. And so, Yahweh Shai comes from heaven, and he's in heaven and on earth, both at the same time. Go back and read a scripture in St. John, <laughs> chapter 3. He said he's on earth and in heaven. Go back and check it out. And so it says, it came to be, as he prayed, the appearance of his face changed and his garment dazzling white. And so this is who Yahweh Shai is, Jesus. He's the Messiah. He's the word of God made flesh. He's God in the flesh, but he took on man. And so now he's going up to this mountain to meet with Moses and Elijah. And so Moses and Elijah are still alive. All the 12 tribes of Israel that have passed on are still alive because our names have been written in the book of life if we believe the gospel of the kingdom. And so Moses and Elijah are the major prophets in the Old Testament. And it says his appearance changed because this is an inter... <coughs> I don't even know the word to explain it. But the people, the ruling class, they know exactly what this is about. And they know that Yahweh Shai is coming back and he's going to crack them skies the dome. They ain't went out of this dome. They can't get out. They've been trying, but they can't get out of it. They haven't been to the moon either. <laughs> they're lying to you. Anytime they say they went to the moon, they lie lying to you. They haven't been to the moon. And so this is an enclosed place that we're living in. It's not a universe. The scripture never calls it a universe. This is earth. But because of Yahweh, his power is greater in, than us and, and Yahweh Shai, this is what's happening. <clears throat> He's being transformed because the scripture talks about Enoch. Enoch was translated. He walked with God and he was not because the Most High took him. And so that's the only way anyone anywhere is coming in and out of the earth is the Most High is allowing it. And so the appearance of Yahweh Shai's face changed and his garment became dazzling white. He was transformed. 